Hi students, welcome to Only Maths Tutorial Point. Today we are going to discuss on mean of group data by using assumed mean method. That is the second type of method. Actually, the mean of group data can be solved by using three methods. That is, first one is direct method. That one I already discussed in the previous videos. And second is assumed mean. That one we will discuss now. And third is step deviation method. That one we will discuss in the further videos. Okay. So here I have taken one example, students. Find the mean of group data using assumed mean method. Okay. Here class intervals is given and number of students is given. So we have to find the mean of group mean of group data using assumed mean method. Okay. For solving this mean of group data using assumed method, we need to take three more columns. Okay. There is nothing but mid values, deviation, and FIDA. Okay. So for solving this mid values take the calculation part in other page okay for easy understanding okay what do you uh, how can we find the mid values or class marks take the lower boundary and upper boundary as sum take the sum of lower boundary and upper boundary and divide by 2 okay then nothing but the mid values mid value so 10 plus 25 by 2 nothing but 35 by 2 will get 75 point 17.5 second one 25 plus 40 by 2 Nathema 65 by 2, we get 32.5. Like that, you have to solve, you have to calculate all the mid values for the given class interval. Okay, whatever the result we got, that one you mentioned in the third column. Okay, students, whatever the results we got, mentioned in the third column. Then, before going to this fourth column and fifth column, I will explain what is this. Okay, why I have taken A to the third value? Actually, here A is called the assumed mean students. So, it is not compulsory that we have to take A to the third third value. We can take, you can mention to any of the value here. It's up to you. But, for I, I, my suggestion is, for easy understanding, you can take A to the any of the value here. But, my suggestion is, what is highest frequency here? In the given data, highest frequency is 7. So, that value you take it as A. Okay. Then round up that, that value as A. And then go to the fourth column. The calculation part. The deviation part. What is your deviation formula here? Di equal to Xi minus A. Okay. How we can solve this? So, Di formula is Xi minus A. Already we have taken A as 47.5. This A is common for all the values. Okay, assumed mean is 47.5. If you take first value as 17.5 as A, then it becomes as A as 17.5. It's up to you. You can take any value as A here. Okay, you try that that method after seeing this video. Okay, instead of taking 47.5 as A, you try for other values. Whether you are getting the same answer or not, same result or not. Okay, students, see here. So here xi minus a, here i values are 6, 6 is twin. the given values are 6, right? So, so first value x1 minus a, nothing but 17.5, first value is 17, okay? So your first value is 17.5 students, 17.5 subtract 47.5, nothing but that is a value, that is a formula here, xi is 17.5 minus, minus a, nothing but 47.5, we get minus 30, okay? Second value 32.5 is x value, that's my second value x2 value. I have mentioned all this here, okay? x2 so for 32.5 minus 47.5. The 47.5 will be same for all the values because that one we have taken as a there, isn't it? So, like that, take the difference of these two and whatever the result we got here mentioned in the fourth column. After getting the result in the last column, nothing but FIDA column. Take the product of this frequencies and deviation, Ft or FIDI. 2 into minus 30 is minus 60. 3 into minus 15 is minus 45. 7 into 0 is 0. So, take the normal product, normal multiplication here in this column. And after doing the product, take the sum of that, FIDI. Okay, students. After getting, after getting the result, after getting the sum of this column, go to the calculation part. Substitute the values in the given formula. What is the formula we use? 
x bar equal to a plus summation f i di by summation f i. Okay, students. Here I have mentioned here what a value is forty seven point five. That one we have taken here, and summation f i di we got as sum as four thirty five, and summation f i frequency sum we got as thirty. Okay, substitute the values in the formula. So a is forty seven point five, and this one f i di is four thirty five by thirty. So this part we get as fourteen point five. Then take this and add these two forty seven point five plus the result. The whatever we got the division part here, fourteen point five. Now that is sixty two point five. So this is the mean of the given data students. So so my my suggestion is here I have taken with forty seven point five as a unit mean, right? So better you solve for other values. Take any one as a and try for that whether you are getting the same result or not. Okay students. I hope you understood understood this sum. Okay, if not, once go through this video, and in the next video, I am going to explain the second example of same method, students. Thank you.